If we could make it make sense, we, the staff of Brew Hoop, would be the inmates running the Milwaukee Bucks' asylum. What is most disappointing about the week the Bucks just concluded is that it feels so effortlessly of a piece with the season so far. One more low in a year that has had plenty. Although this particular stretch feels comparatively worse with the they just need time to gel parapet we'd hidden behind for months getting chewed up by the passing of the days. I use the term inscrutable, but only as a conceit. This Bucks team as constructed is closely conforming to the expectations you'd have of any super top-heavy roster. If Giannis Antetokounmpo, Damian Lillard, and Chris Middleton play there is a solid chance of a win waiting on the other side. If they don't, well. Once the long absences of Middleton started setting in the responsibility for filling the gap inevitably fell on the bench and secondary starters. Unfortunately, most of those players long ago aged out of surprising outcomes and are, instead, battling tooth and nail with time to avoid the slippage from reliable vets to lost fastballs. When I read names like Brooke Lopez, Jay Crowder, Bobby Portis, Malik Beasley, Pat Connaughton, and Patrick Beverly. The connecting themes to me are those of inconsistency and low ceilings. Their theoretical floor is higher than their younger compatriots, but the rigors of the season have them reaching their floor far less often than would be necessary to help carry the load alongside the stars. Maybe what is inscrutable is how far they've gotten with all that has troubled them. In the aftermath of some tough losses, Hope can still spring eternal if three players end up taking the floor later this April. Whether they should have ever found themselves in that kind of position is a discussion that can start now and be resolved in the offseason. As far as the chances of winning right now go, though, it is as scrutable as that. Let's round up. Milwaukee Bucks links MVP ladder. Top contenders drop triple doubles in final push. NBA.com the MVP race is about as good as over for Giannis. Valiant though his season has been, including coming back from a tight hamstring against the Knicks. Going to be tough balancing his minutes and the strain on his body the final four games and the need to shoot for whatever seed the team wants to land at. I will say listing him as fourth in the standings behind SGA feels a little disrespectful, even if neither ultimately has a shot at winning the award. Ranking NBA title contenders, CBS Sports, piece was written and published on April 5th, so it hadn't had the full picture of the Bucks week to write the evaluation around. Still, a fourth place showing isn't half bad for this team even if much of the stock placed on them relies on a series of big ifs and theory rather than much practice.